Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. It is your girl, Miss Lita. And yes, I am back with yet another video, honey. So let's get into it. Today's video is going to be about, hmm, yet again, Love by Erica. Uh-oh, let's get into it, honey. Okay, y'all, I don't know if y'all have paid attention or noticed, but Erica is doing her whole wedding checklist on YouTube, it seems like. Now, I'm still a little lost and confused because I'm not sure where the groom is. Um, I don't know if she is marrying herself, but she did allude in um, a video that she did when it came to the wedding cake that she wanted to have a wedding cake topper with um, her, the groom and her three kings. So she's alluding to that there's a man that she's marrying but I'm still confused as to who the man is because Cryer keeps saying that he ain't the man um, and that he's not getting married. He has stated over and over again and again that he is single. OK, um, so I'm I'm kind of confused as who the man is. But let me just get into this recap with y'all. So uh, first we not, we seen the ring. We all paid attention and learned of a wedding ring that was placed on Miss Love by Erica's hand. Then we went with her as she went dress shopping. Next thing you know, we see Sister Girl was looking at wedding cakes, trying to get ideas in regards to wedding cakes that she wanted to make a purchase of or that she might like and want to get for a style for her wedding. Now, She's already started to pick out uh, tuxedos for her kids. Camden tried on his tuxedo and everything, and he looked so handsome. Go on, cutie pie. Um, and then we also seen um, that she is planning to do more videos with baby Dion and baby Drake showing off their tuxedos at some point. And she did make mention that she will be doing um, the cake testing. I guess she's going to be doing the food testing, the floral picking and everything else on YouTube. And you guys um, who are her subscribers will be able to pick out whatever it is in regards to um, her wedding, um, which is why I still feel like it is a marriage to herself because if it was a marriage to a man, it would be something that was more personal and she would want to pick out all the items on her own. Um, that's why I honestly feel like she is marrying herself, because when you're getting married to a male, um, you want to show that man out like, baby, he earned my heart. He, he got it. When everyone else failed me, this one right here, this one right here. I'm a brag on mine. He, he got my heart. Um, and so at this point, she's saying she's getting married. But if she's getting married to a man, my question is, do he know? Because um, I ain't seen him yet. But, you know, uh, we, we don't need to know everything right away. And I'm in full agreement with that. Um, it's better to keep things private. And then just let them unfold at the very end because people will try to destroy anything um, if you tell them beforehand. So, you know, if that's what she's doing, OK, cool. I can roll with that. Um, but I just hope that she has taken the time to get to know that person and that she's not rushing into a relationship just because um, Mucker and Toya are getting married. Baby, take your time. 
Baby, take your time. Do it right. We can do it, baby. Okay, let me quick. Let me stop clowning. Let me bring it back. Let me bring it back and be serious. Okay. Anywho, but if she is really getting married, I, I hope she is taking her time. So that's that's it. That's all I can tell you in regards to recaps. I hope y'all like my thoughts and my opinion because y'all know I definitely gave them to you. I ain't gonna hold back. I never do. Now, I did have to come back and say this really quick. Okay. So my whole thought in regards to um, when I said you don't want to always put your relationship on YouTube, some people will try to destroy it. Every now and then, you you do have to put people on your uh, page and and um, everything else when it comes to your relationship because sometimes you got to test the waters. You got to test to see if they're going to be able to, to handle all the things that come with you being on YouTube. Okay, I'm just saying, but that's just my little thought. Real quick thought. Okay, real quick thought. All right, now stay tuned for my little thoughts from TikTok and, of course, my thoughts and opinions. Because, like I say, y'all know I gave them to you. I always open my mouth and I'm going to share with you my true thoughts and opinion. Okay, I'm going to cut up. I'm going to be leader. Now, you know I had to hit you with some thoughts and opinions from TikTok. Hold on now. Let me get into it. People who have things to hide ain't got time to wait. This is why they're constantly texting you. Hey, good morning, queen, grand rising queen. This is why, when can I see you again? You just saw him six hours ago. It's intentional. This person has lived his whole life understanding that by the time someone gets to know their true selves, they will be repelled. So what better way than to get you to accept who I am than for you to rush and do it. And here y'all be, oh, he applying pressure. I ain't never had a man in my life apply pressure this much. Girl, he already trying to go to the Bahamas. I only knew him four days, red flag. I'm telling you, you guys got to understand that a lot of those things you think that are cute in the beginning are oftentimes to hide, deflect, and distract you from actual things they don't want you looking at. Baby, now that video works for men and women. It goes both ways, honey. Don't just think I'm speaking to um to the men, I mean to the women. I'm speaking to men and women. It works both ways. But now I'm going to give y'all my thoughts and opinion. I hope you're ready. Hold on now. So, okay, I just simply think that Love by Erica is running yet again another series. Um, and this series is going to be her completely doing her wedding checklist planning for her marriage to herself. That's just my thoughts. I still stand on that. I still feel like that she is going to have a wedding and this wedding is going to be a self-marriage. Um, I, I feel like it's one of those, always a bridesmaid and never a bride. But baby, if you really are truly getting married to someone, I wish you nothing but the best. I hope you have taken your time to get to know this person because rushing into a relationship without actually getting knowledge of who that person is, is not going to work. It's not going to work. I'm sorry. And sometimes you can be married or with the person for years and still not know them. So it's it's not always that simple where, hey, you take your time and you get to know a person and then you get married. Sometimes you can be with them for years and still not realize who the person is that's laying next to you. I'm just being honest. I'm being straight up and I'm being honest. Some people leave, live double lives and you never know. Um, but I, I do hope that you have taken every avenue to get to know this person. If you really are getting married, I'm just trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. If you truly are getting married, I hope you have taken the time to get to know this person because you have three handsome kings that you have to protect and they are looking at you for every thing that they need. They're looking for you for knowledge for various areas within your life. And, and so I hope you are setting a good example for them. Um, there's some things that I don't agree with that you do on YouTube, but the person on YouTube and the person in real life are totally different. And I don't know the person in real life. I only know the person on YouTube who I have seen and have shied away from because of some of the things that you've done. But that's just me. 
But anyhow, if you really are getting married, baby, more power to you. But please, 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 I hope you have taken your time to get to know this person before you have placed them before your kids. Um, I, I hope you have done a background check on them. Yes, I said a background check before anybody say anything because you need to know what's in these people's background, especially if you're talking about marrying them. I don't have no problems with showing you my background check, my SDT, my STD check and everything else. Okay, let's get a check, check, check. All right. That's how I feel about it. I'm just going to be 100 with you. Um, when I'm giving you my opinion, I'm telling you the honest to God's truth because this is my opinion. Um, like I say, I just don't want her to rush into anything without getting all those check marks checked. OK, period. Now, I again, I say this. I hope that if you are getting married, that you found someone who matches your energy because you don't want someone who's not whose energy level and foundation is not on the same level as yours. I hope that the foundation is based upon God and that God is the alpha and the omega in both of y'all's lives. Um, but if they not matching your energy, if you, if they not out there hustling as hard as you are to come up with these series, then baby, you, you need to rethink that checklist. Okay. Cause apparently they not checking off all them boxes because you can come up with these series left and right. So if you able to come up with these series to make sure that you keeping them coins in your pocket, make sure whoever you put on that checklist as a groom is able to meet the same standards that you are. Okay. Because I'm not, I, I never say that the girl don't grind. She grinds. She grinds hard. She comes up with all kinds of series. She's creative in that way. But do she do some things that just don't sit well? Absolutely. Absolutely. However, I'm never going to knock her because she's always trying to grind and not only for herself, but for her three Kings. So Kudos to you, honey. But make sure if you are getting married that you find someone who is matching your energy. Make sure that you find someone who is just as creative as you. Make sure you find someone who will dedicate and put just as much attention and into details and everything else as you do when you create series on YouTube. That they put the same creative details into your relationship. They pay attention to your relationship. Just like you pay attention to what you do and what will capture people's attention on YouTube, make sure they doing the same thing for you. That's all I can say. Make sure they a boss. OK, like Auntie said in my little short yesterday, I need me a gorilla. OK, I need someone who going to be King Kong. I need him to beat on his chest when it comes about me. I need him to go. ooh ooh ah ah. When it comes to me, don't play about me and mine because, baby, I don't. I definitely never will. I'm not going to play about me and mine. And if you think that you finna come into my life and that I'm not going to put my kids first like I always have, then I'm not the relationship for you. You might want to go ahead and exit stage left. So I hope you have set boundaries. I have I hope that if you are really getting married, that you have made your intentions clear. And I hope that you guys have seriously had one on one conversations. And if you marry yourself, I hope that you manifest things within your life that is going to be prosperous for you in the long run. That's going to help you to grow in the long run. That's going to help you to become a better you in the long run. Things of those natures. I, I pray that if you are marrying yourself, that you're doing it not to capture people's attention, but to sincerely try to help yourself. Because unfortunately, I do feel like you spiraling out of control at this point and that People are laughing and thinking it's funny and it's not. I, I hope that you get the help that you need. Now, let's get back to if you really get married. Now, if you really get married, my only question is, um, if you get married, how many going to be in your wedding party? Because you have burned bridges on YouTube like nobody's business, honey. I just hope and pray that you haven't done the same thing in your real life. 
Um, I, I'm just saying, don't shoot the messenger. Y'all ask me for my commentary all the time. Don't be mad at me when I give you my honest to God opinion. Because I'm wondering, if we burning bridges left and right on YouTube, have we burnt that many bridges in our real life? Or are there going to be, uh, is, is it going to be a wedding party? I'm just saying. I'm asking some questions. Y'all know I ask questions when I'm confused. So don't hate me for asking some questions. Now, if you guys have some questions or some comments, please make sure to leave them down below because you know I love to engage. Let's get into it, honey. Let's get into it. My final thought is, is his scam game going to be on point like hers? Is he going to be uh, switching up the venues all the time too? Is he going to be supporting that stuff? Or is he going to be a better scammer than she is? N I'm sorry. N let, me, let me act right. I'm stepping on some toes now, damn it. Then my other question is, is she going to be the only one with the password to his phone? Is he going to have to ask her to unlock his phone from time to time? You know, he's only going to be allowed to answer it. Is that going to be the case? Y'all stop making fun of me. I'm just asking questions. Y'all know I ask questions. Until next time, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And join the family. Like I say, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Now, some other people who I definitely support, if you guys have time to check them out, please go check out my Auntie Vine, who is known as Vine's Vittles Let's Eat. Also, make sure you talk. To, uh, go check out my Auntie Linda, known as the Queen of Reaction Videos. Um, it, it just says Miss Linda. For YouTube, but she is also known as the female cousin passer. I love me some Auntie Linda. And then also, if you guys would please make sure you check out my girl Nosy Gang. Nosy hasn't been around, but maybe if y'all get her to a thousand, which she need four more, maybe she'll come back and uh give you a little bit more of her Erica voice. You know what I'm saying? But until next time, I'm your girl Miss Lita, and I'm out this thing. Peace. Minute, let's sip this tea. Girl, come talk to me. Come on in. Girl, come on in here and talk to me. Sit on down and relax your fire feet. Come in and let's sip this tea. Girl, come talk 